Europe Space Agency is making Orion spacecraft under NASA's Artemis program with an aim to land the first woman and the next man on the moon by 2024. The NASA named its moon program Artemis after the twin sister of Apollo in Greek mythology who was the Greek goddess of the moon. The European Space Agency is overseeing the development of European Service Module also known as ESM, will be part of the Orion spacecraft that provides air, electricity and propulsion. The Orion and its attached ESM-1, which is likely to be launched in early 2022, are expected to fly near the moon but not land as part of the uncrewed test. So the first mission will bring us uh, un uncrewed to the moon. And uh, the second vehicle is then a vehicle which will bring NASA's planning four astronauts to the moon, just circling around the moon. And then the third one, that's the one which is bringing the first astronaut and the first uh, man and woman back again after Apollo to the moon. ESM-1's main engine and 32 thrusters will propel Orion into the orbit around the moon and then back to Earth and ESM-2 will take four astronauts on a flyby around the moon in late 2022 or early 2023, while the ESM-3 is expected to land the first humans on the moon since 1972. The first module known as ESM-1 was delivered by ESA to NASA's Cape Canaveral in Florida in November 2018. It's not the first time that we are assembling a big uh, spacecraft for human-rated flights. Uh, so we know the processes, how to do that. However, uh, on every spacecraft you learn something, how to do it better the next time. So how to improve and do it faster. Uh, and that is uh, what we learn from ESM-1 to ESM-2 and th the same would be also from ESM-2 to 3 and that will be ongoing up to we have a serial production. Aerospace firm Airbus has developed and built the high-tech propulsion modules on behalf of the European Space Agency at Bremen in northern Germany. The engineers are building the Orion spacecraft on the experience of developing the automated transfer vehicle which was used to ferry supplies to the International Space Station. ESA had signed a contract with Airbus for a further three more European space modules at a cost of around 650 million euros in February this year and the modules will be built in Bremen. This is the first time in uh, history where ESA developments are on the critical path of a development and a space mission from NASA. Uh, the service module is really key uh, for the Orion vehicle and for NASA achieving the Artemis mission. So this has been going very well uh, with NASA. We are very pleased with the outcome and uh, this is paving the way for continued cooperation for the years to come. Future missions will carry astronauts into space to build an outpost just beyond the moon that could enable lunar landings and Mars expeditions. ESA's collaboration with NASA also means seeds for European astronauts on future Artemis missions.